Shalom friends, greet you from the eternal city of Jerusalem where King David established the capital uh, of the whole Israel and today we will go to the top of Mount of the Temple Mount on Mount Moriah we are now standing next to the Zion Gate, which you can see over there. And we are heading uh, in the direction of the Mount of Olives now. You can see it in the background. But um, where we're going to go is the, the Temple Mount, which is located over there. So, another beautiful day in Jerusalem. It's morning and it's the fresh air today is very nice so it's not warm it's about 90 degrees so a nice day and a really pleasant walk we can have today so we still have some way to go uh, but I wanted to start a little bit early and talk as we go so the temple mount as you probably already know is one of the most important places in in the world you know for god israel according to the bible is a special land it's and it's Israel, it's a, it's a land that belonged to God and he decided to give it to the Jewish people. And in Israel, a very special place is Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, the most, the most important place, the most sacred place is Mount Moriah. This is where the first temple stood. This is where the second temple stood. This is where the glory of God would step down and live among the nation of Israel. So, we're going to the most holy place in the world, according to the Bible. So over there, you can see the Kidron Valley. You see how high we are. You can see the Sylvan neighborhood, the Arab neighborhood over there. And beneath us is the city of David. Recently, it's more common to actually see Jewish people going to the Temple Mount. Um, it's a phenomena that is happening recently, and it hasn't been so um, in the past. But now, um, because of security, they they are able to go to the Temple Mount. So. You might be able to see a Jewish group. We'll see. And I read a statistic that in 2000, 2022 was a record, record, record amount of Jewish pilgrims on the Temple Mount. So it's a, it, it is a record year already and it hasn't finished. So it's happening you can see here some of the children screaming here it's a school here so the Jewish children once again are on the streets of Jerusalem 
after centuries of being a nation in the diaspora. So we're walking now on the walls of Jerusalem. Uh, those walls are from the 16th century, built by Suleiman, Suleiman the Magnificent. And they surround the old city of Jerusalem. Once again, panorama of the Mount of Olives. Beautiful sight. And we're going over there. In one of my episodes, we went down to the Davidson Archaeological Park and we looked at the stones from the first century AD, the ancient mikvahs that people used to purify before they went to the temple. And now we're gonna go up. And there are some really exciting things on the Temple Mount that I will share with you. Okay. We are here. You can already see a line of people. It's probably a line to go to the Temple Mount because you can only go on certain hours. The Muslim people allow you only to go in and there's only one entrance to the Temple Mount. non-Muslims can enter and it's just at specific times so it's early in the morning at, like we are going now uh, or after 12 and that's it you can't go oh wow the line is huge already so you know it's a uh, it's quite astonishing that so many people these days are going to the temple mount okay guys so we i just passed security over there and now we're going through this bridge, this wooden bridge uh, that leads us, that will lead us to the Temple Mount. And uh, it was called the Temporary Bridge, but it's been here for <laughs> so long that they're actually, uh, they are planning to build like a more permanent establishment. Uh, but the bridge is what we have now it was actually made renovated quite recently so here you can see the temple uh, I mean the western wall the hotel beneath us and working up to the temple mount here you can see the view Thank you. 
Yes. And this is where we have the Temple Mount. So we're on top now. And first we'll go to the Dome of the, Dome of the Rock. That's what I want to show you. So you see how many people are actually up here. People are pilgriming the Temple Mount as it was in the times when the the temple stood here. So you can see this place is huge. You don't realize how big it is, how big the space is. Look. There are things growing, you know, like trees. Look at those trees, how big they are. They are growing on the Temple Mount. You know, so... Mm, many, many things, many remains of the original temple complex were just scrapped and there's nothing left. But there is something left, I will show you. to Arab children. It's, you know, this is the most holy place for the Jewish people. They have trash cans here. You know, it's, it's very, very disgraceful to have this. So here you can see the Dome of the Rock and under this big kapua is the foundation stone the stone of the ages upon which uh, uh, stood the ark of the covenant yeah. this is one of the entrances you can see And unfortunately, we cannot go inside. Only a Muslim person can go inside. So, that's not me. And uh, we can't see what's inside, actually. We know what's inside. Because there were people that entered it and made pictures. But I won't be able to do it. See how uh, shiny it is? It is actually covered with gold. A very, very tiny, mm, very, very thin uh, amount of gold, but still it makes it shine. And it's, it actually, the gold was polished in a way so that it wouldn't shine as much as it usually would because it would blind people. So, there's some more stones here. We'll go down, because I want to find very special stones I want to show you. I hope they didn't get rid of them. We'll see. So we see many other shrines around they're from different periods because um, the, the mosque uh, and the dome were created in the 7th century but later uh, things happened you know other civilization came 
Uh, there were even earthquakes that destroyed the mosque, but <clears throat> it got re rebuilt. So there's a, also a mosaic of different time periods here. So you can observe here, you can see a well where people clean their uh, feet. The Muslim people clean their feet before entering the mosque. This is another entrance. Okay, well, we're gonna go there. So I don't see Jewish groups today, but usually there is plenty of them when we're entering the Temple Mount. And as as we walked in, there were some uh, police, Israeli police, guarding. They were just getting ready just in case there was some kind of riots because they happen uh, sometimes stones are thrown from the, do uh, the temple mount to the people standing beneath us and praying in the, the western wall so uh, in that case the police needs to intervene and stop it But the, the Jewish uh, people um, connected to the Temple Institute are very serious about their presence on the Temple Mount. They come here, they invite people more and more every year, and they have everything ready for the new temple to be built. So they're just waiting for the right moment that something happens. And I showed you on one of my videos that the Laksa Mosque actually has a crack and it looks like it's gonna fall apart. Okay. Okay guys, so this is the place I wanted to show you because you can see the stones here, right? I mean, they are quite uh, the same, all the same. And this is a material, right? but there are different stones here at the bottom, right at the, on the bottom. They're much bigger and they're much older. And they actually, um, they had a very nice boss. If you look at the historical picture, they had a very nice boss around them, uh, suggesting that they came from uh, the first temple period. So, those stones are quite ancient. <coughs> and people usually don't know this, they just walk by. But I will show you some historical pictures showing you how this place looked because it was uh, rebuilt and you see cement put over them. It's, it's terrible, you should not do that. Uh, so they were destroyed. But this is uh, this is some parts of the original temple complex we have here. So this is it's really amazing. What we have here. Okay. So this is another entrance to <clears throat> go up the, uh, the Dome of the Rock. Well, look again how big it is. You can see the perspective now of people. I am... <laughs> I'm now in the process of creating a 3D model of all of this. So a lot of work is in front of me, ahead of me, to do that. I have the model of the mosque, the Laksa Mosque almost ready. I have the model of the Dome of the Rock, but I need to create all those little buildings here, you know. All those little shrines. It's taking forever to do that 
So I'm gonna go closer to the Dome of the Rock and then we'll come back here because there's one more thing that's astonishing that I want to show you this thing but first let's go really close to the most holy place in the world how about that you know on this mountain this is Mount Moriah Abraham was tested he uh, was tested um, his faith was tested and eventually God spurred his son Isaac gave him a substitute sacrifice and here David built an altar to the Lord he didn't build the temple the temple was built by his son Solomon <clears throat> and when the temple was built the glory of God stepped down so just to give you a perspective this is the Mount of Olives over there in the in the background you can see it this is where the Messiah will step down as promised by the uh, the prophet Zechariah this is where the golden gate is located the eastern gate through which the prophet Ezekiel writes that uh, in the millennial temple God's glory will enter through the east gate so from that direction so you see here and we're gonna go to the uh, eastern gate you can see the, the church of Mary Magdalene it's an Orthodox uh, Christian Orthodox Russian Orthodox Church so the temple uh, would be here this is where the Mount of Olives is and in that direction you would enter the temple you would go in through the different gates eventually there was a court of the priests that only priests could enter where the sacrifices were made and at the end toward this direction you had the temple building and the holy of holies so this is it this is the closest I can get actually you know, to the Holy of Holies where it would be located and you know nothing nothing of the temple is left of course there are some stones around the temple mount but the temple proper is gone there's nothing left of the temple destroyed in 80 70 by the Romans and during Bar Kokhba revolt there was some attempt to build a new temple on the Temple Mount but it never happened they were stopped by the Romans so some people say you know this is especially especially I hear it from some Christian groups that say well uh, Jesus prophesied that there would be nothing left of a temple you have this temple walls you know but there are not temple walls or walls of the temple complex this is something very different and from the temple you have nothing nothing left let's go now closer to the East Gate so many terrorists here different groups oh, this is a Jewish group because he speaks in Hebrew and, uh, 
over there is the East Gate. So here is a little bit quieter on Dental Mount around the mosque and around the Dome of the Rock. Let's see if I can enter because Another fact that I can. Oh, there's passage here. So this is the gate, the golden gate from looking from the Temple Mount to the Mount of Olives. So we're looking from west to east now. And so there is something very interesting about this gate is that it's of course it's not ancient. Uh, it was built already when the Muslims came. You can see the ornaments of it, but it is based and in the foundation of this gate, some really old poles were found that go back to the, uh, to the to, uh, to first temple period times. So I don't think I can go here because somebody was shouting. Okay. So we're not allowed to go down. That's okay. We can still see it from here. So this is this gate is huge. Look at look how big it is. You know, it was walled. Uh, it was actually uh, open once, but it was walled, sealed up uh, and reopened again and then again sealed up and this is the, the present state of it. But uh, another thing which is interesting is in front of this gate you have a cemetery, a Muslim cemetery. So uh, the Muslim people actually uh, some of them probably knew the ancient prophecies saying that the Messiah will go through the Eastern Gate. Mm, and to stop that, a cemetery was built because, you know, a Jewish person cannot go through a cemetery and enter the temple because he becomes instantly unclean. But <laughs> if the Messiah God, that doesn't really matter. You can make unclean clean, right? Let's go here. Well, Mark for me is the perfect illustration. So here's some more of it. This is where usually you have the other side of the Golden Gate. Okay. So once again, a view of it. And so we saw it from the other day from the bottom. Now we'll see it from here. Back to Jewish people. We know that the presence of God will come. They will say, They will cry out. And you see, there's a lot of construction around. And again, on the Temple Mount, you have trees growing. So, you have things being grown as it was promised. 
in the prophecies, in the biblical prophecies. really really bad I mean it look look at this there's trash trash on the Temple Mount you know the most holy place to the Jewish people and it's desecrated so badly this is a garbage dump on the Temple Mount I mean it's shocking it's shocking to a Jewish person to see that look at this this is just Disgustful. Such a shame. There's no respect for this place. I mean, I won't tell anything more because I don't want to, you know, be mean. But it's it's very bad. It's painful to watch. You see, it's like nobody cares. Okay, let's let's not talk about it. So now we're getting closer to the Alaska. Al I would say uh, it's Alaska Mosque. So sometimes when you want to say it fast, you say Alaska. So be careful when you talk uh, to a Muslim person. Don't say Alaska. Even though he may like Americans, he may be offended. So rather say Alaksa okay so here again some more open spaces I think I just want to show this a little bit more. So this is the, actually this is the main mosque. You know, this is more important to the Muslim people than this. Because according to the, to Islam, this is where the Prophet Muhammad uh, came from Mecca and then ascended to heaven. So this is actually more important than the dome itself. And it's quite big, but it's it's not as spectacular looking like the dome, right? I mean, this is this is huge gold. This is this is gray. There's some green decorations. Green is a color of Islam. So you can see here, you can see some Israeli soldiers on the Temple Mount, which is also an unusual sight but it's because so many people are here and if something happens Israel's is blamed so we need to protect it we need to keep some kind of order because it's a very very tense place many people many um, Muslim people are not very happy of course they're not happy that Jewish people come here but sometimes they're not happy that on Muslims enter this holy site. That's why you have very restricted hours you can visit and also you have and also you have uh, uh, one entrance through which you can enter because there's many entrances to the temple complex but 
we can only enter through one this one over here that we entered so we made a circle now a small one like a half circle but we'll go further that direction in the direction uh, north so this is south this is east this is north this is west so we're going north now and some are soldiers you can see maybe a Jewish group will come soon Let's see Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, we're now on the uh, we're now on the northern side uh, side of the Temple Mount. This is one of the exits. You can exit through here, and you'll be very close to the Lion's Gate. But I want to go further, moving to the west, because there is a very interesting uh, mountain, kind of like a rock mountain. But you can see there so again you can see the trees planted on the temple mount look how big they are how old they are Here again, from a different perspective, you can see looking from north the golden, the dome of the rock. The east gate would be there. This is another Jewish group. I speak Hebrew, that's why we know they're Jewish on the Temple Mount amazing once again Jewish people are on the Temple Mount after thousands of years I will have to be leaving this place soon because uh, my time is up pretty much and non-Muslims will have to leave but I hope we can see this last thing I want to show you there is one more thing those guys are looking at me because I saw them a few times now and uh, I don't think they're happy that I'm talking about all those things so Or suspicious if you want to say so one more thing my brother had a flag of uh, Israel in his backpack and he was planning to go with me on the Temple Mount uh, we had the flag from the previous day previous recordings and we real uh, we realized that right when we were about to enter the Temple Mount and of course if you they would see that they would not allow us to go so he had to stay he didn't enter uh, we didn't want to throw out the flag of Israel okay so what you see here is a rock scarp there's a, a rock scarp that's clearly sticking out of the Temple Mount and you see a building built on top of it this is the actual location of the Antonia fortress that, that stood above the temple and looked on the temple from the top so Josephus, Josephus writes about it that, there, uh, that the Antonia fortress was built upon a rock scarp and if you uh, look at the measurements they agree so uh, this is the actual location of the Antonia fortress many people today are having different theories about the Antonia fortress where it was how big it was 
but if you look at the evidence here on the Temple Mount, this is where it was. Okay, so uh, this is the last thing I wanted to show you from the Temple Mount. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you think. Mm, I will uh, also put a link, uh, I mean, I will also put uh, information about how to subscribe uh, to YouTube because I, I know that many people don't know how to create an account and then if you create the account you can only then subscribe to the channel so at the end of the video there will be a explanation so that you can create the account and subscribe and then you can follow the channel so I it might be helpful for some of you anyways uh, thank you for your attention I hope you liked experience from the Temple Mount Mount Moriah and uh, uh, I'll see you in the next episode if you think that material my material is good you can help me you can uh, uh, you can uh, support the channel that way I can focus more on uh, creating more materials for you and more often so uh, Thank you for everybody that's already supporting, it's really a big help for me. Thank you so much because it helps to grow the channel, helps me to do things that I might not be able to do without you. So this is very precious for me. So have a good day and Shalom.